Ross and Raspberry Pi for controlling a robocar. My name is Tiziano and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing because I'll be posting contents about drones, robotics, ROS, technical reviews right here. Today we're going to start a mini series about ROS and what's better than applying ROS on an actual example for controlling a robocar with a Raspberry Pi 3. What's the purpose of this first tutorial? We want to control our robocar using the keyboard on our laptop. And how can we accomplish that? Well, we're going to create a node that is going to control the servo and is going to subscribe to a topic that is called servo. And we're going to create another node called donkey low level control that is going to publish on the servo topic and is also going to subscribe to a command bell uh, topic that is going to come from the keyboard on our laptop. In this first video, we're going to be covering the very basics. So we're going to be installing the environment. I'm going to show you how to create and install a package. And most importantly, I'm going to talk about topics and messages. So let's dive into the tutorial. Our first step is installing raw Kinetic on our Ubuntu machine. You can also use a virtual machine, but I'd rather use a dual boot computer because it makes things much smoother. For installing ROS on Ubuntu, we just follow the wiki.ros.org slash kinetic slash installation. And here we just follow the instructions step by step. I won't be going through all of them. Then you type sudo apt-get install ROS kinetic desktop full. Last, we need to initialize the ROS dev. So we type sudo ROS dev init and then ROS dev update. Now we set up the Kakin workspace. First, we source the current development environment, typing source opt ROS kinetic setup.bash. This is important because you could have more than one ROS installed at the same time. Then we create the Kakin underscore WS slash source folder. Then we navigate into Kakin WS and we type Kakin underscore make. This will build the development environment. And then we source the file setup.bash in the folder devil. Now you should be running this particular step every time you open a new terminal. In order to avoid to do that every time, we just write this line in the bashrc file. That is the file that is read every time you open a new terminal. So we nano bashrc and at the end of the file, we just type the source devil setup.bash. We save it and you're done. If you want to know more about Catkin, just go on the wiki.ros.org slash Catkin. And what about the RC car? Well, we're going to be using the donkey car from the donkey car Robocar project. And you can find all information about it on the website donkeycar.com. I post a link in the description below. I also wrote in the description all the main parts that you would need for building one yourself. You can click on one of those links and get your parts already on Amazon. The donkey car is made up of a cheap but powerful RC car like the Magnet model, a Raspberry Pi 3 model B or B+, a camera with a wide angle lens, a servo control board from Adafruit. Follow the instruction in the link that I provided in the description below and you'll be up and running in 20 minutes. For the Raspberry Pi, we're going to download a pre-baked SD card from Ubiquiti Robotics. This image is great because it has ROS already installed and running. Plus, the Raspberry Pi works as an access point so we can connect our computer to the car without bringing our access point when we work outdoor. Then we connect to the donkey car using SSH connection. Now, there are two ways for connecting to the Rubble car. One is connected to the access point and the other one is through an Ethernet connection. Now, we're going to be using the Ethernet connection because we need to install some packages and update the car. On Linux, we open a terminal and we connect to the donkey car through SSH and the password is Ubuntu. The first thing we're going to do is update and then we install Samba for sharing the folder. Then we open the Samba config file. We set Win support as yes. And then we set up the folder that we want to share. In our case, it's the source of the Kakin workspace. Then we set up the Samba password as Ubuntu and we reboot. Now we connect back to the donkey car. And if we type ROS core, we realize that ROS is already running. 
don't turn on your RC car yet and every time you turn it on make sure that the wheels don't touch anything that can spin freely you don't want to end up chasing your RC car in case you make any mistake right the first thing that we need to do is installing the servo control board node now there is a great package developed from bread and lane studio and we're gonna install it from GitLab we first need to install the Libra square C library then we navigate into the source folder in our CatKin workspace and here we clone the repository from Bread and Lane. Then we go back one folder and we write catkin make and catkin compiles the packages and builds the messages. When it's done, remember to source the development environment, typing source devil setup.bash. Now, from our Ubuntu laptop, let's browse into the donkey car folders and let's go into the S2C control board package. Inside, we can find multiple files and folders. Let's open the launch file. First of all, let's remove the launch prefix sudo-e. As you can see, the launch file is written in XML format. It starts and finishes with the launch and then it creates a node. As you can see in the node, I define a package as the current name, and then the name as the name of the node, and in type, we write the name of the file that we are actually running. Now let's open the message folder, and in particular, let's open the message server array. As you can see, the server array message is defined as an array of servo object. If we open the servo message, we can see that each servo message is defined by an int16 servo that is going to be the ID and the value that is a float32. Now in each package there are two important files. One is package XML and the other is CMake list. Package XML contains all information about the package like the name, the version, the contact, uh, the website but also all the important features for building and all the dependencies like for example in this case ROS CPP, ROS PY. CMake list instead contains all the directories and the files. We're going to be covering those files in much more detail in another video. Now that we have installed the package from GitLab, let's talk a little bit about topics. So topics are kind of like pipes that connects node together in which they can send messages one node that has a message that I want to share can publish into a topic and a node that is interested in that message can subscribe to the topic and read the message. Everything is handled by a central node called ROS master that can run everywhere in your network and in our case it'll be running on the donkey car and we're going to connect our laptop to that ROS master node. Okay, let's run the node I2C control board and let's see what topics are available right now. Now, on one terminal, we run the I2C control board node, and on another terminal, we list the topics, typing ROS topic list. As you can see, servos absolute is one of the topics that is currently active. When you want to have details about the topic, you just type ROS topic info and the name of the topic. And here, for example, we see that the topic of servos absolute has a message of type I2C board servo array. And the current subscriber is the I2C PWM controller. And if we want to have any detail about the message server array, we just type ROS messages show and the name of the message. And here we are with all the details about our message. In our case, is an array of servos, and each of the servo is composed of servo and value. Now, let's say that we want to publish on this topic. It's pretty easy. We just type ROS topic pub and then the name of the topic and then hitting tab tab twice, ROS compiles the message for us. For example, let's set the throttle that is server 1 to idle. In our case, idle corresponds to 333. If you want to throttle up, we just put something that is higher than 333. And if you want to move the steering wheel, we just type 2 as a servo, and then again, a straight steering wheel corresponds to 333, and if you want to go right, it's higher than the value. If you want to go left, it's something that is less than the value.
and now it's time for us to create our package. In order to create our package, we navigate into the source of our Kotlin workspace folder, and then we type Kotlin underscore create underscore pkg, the name of our package, and then our dependency ROS PY because we're going to develop in Python. If we open CMakeList, we realize that the name is DonkeyLLC and ROS PY is a required component. The basic idea is creating a class for handling the low level control of our donkey car that is going to publish on the topic Servo Absolute and is going to subscribe to the topic Command Bell. The message on CMD underscore Bell is a geometry message twist. Now, twist is made up of multiple fields. There is linear and angular controls. And for linear and angular, there are X, Y, Z. For our car, we're just going to be publishing on the linear dot X in the angular dot zeta so forward backward right left we write the path to python then we import ros py and time and then from i square c pwm board we import the messages servo and servo array and from the geometry messages we import twist then we create a simple class called servo convert that is going to convert our commanded values in negative one to one into something that a i square c pwm board understands that is uh, a center value in my case about 333 and a range of about 90. And then we write the get value out function that converts the input from negative one to one into the actual servo range. Now it's time for the actual class DK low level control. We initialize the node DK LLC, and then we create a dictionary of actuators. Each element in the dictionary is a servo convert object. And then we create the servo message as a servo array object. A servo array is an array of two servos, so we have to initialize both of them with this for loop. And then we create the object publisher, writing rospy publisher, and then the topic we want to publish to, the message type, in our case, servo array, and QSI is equal to one. So the publisher is going to publish every single time. And then we create a subscriber object that is gonna to subscribe to the command val topic, reading a message of type twist, and is gonna call the function set actuators from command val that we have still to write. Now we probably wanna stop the car in case we don't receive any message for at least five seconds. And here it is, I'm gonna write a timeout of five seconds. Now let's create a function that is gonna to write to the servo from a command val message. First, we save the time we receive the message. And then for the throttle, we read from the message linear x. And for the steering angle, we read from the message angular zeta. And here we write the send servo message that is going to be the actual publisher. So we cycle in the dictionary and for each of the servos, we're going to assign the servo ID and the value. Last, we're going to create a property for checking out whether the controller is connected. And then we write a simple run function that is an infinite while loop. We compile our package typing kakin underscore make. Now everything is set up. So on the donkey car, we're going to be launching two terminals. One is for launching the control board node. And the second one is for launching our low level control node. On another terminal on our Ubuntu machine, we're going to setting up the ROS environments and launching the keyboard node. Using the SSH, we open two terminals on the Raspberry Pi. On one, we run the I2C control board node. And on the other one, we run our own donkey LLC node. Now, on our car, we plug the battery. On our Ubuntu laptop, we open another terminal. And now we need to connect our Ubuntu laptop to the ROS master running on the Raspberry Pi. This is pretty easy. We just type export and then the global variable ROS underscore master underscore URI equal to the address. In our case is ubiquityrobot.local. I'm using the host name. And the port is 11311. We also want to make sure that the current ROS IP global variable is set correctly. So we type export ROS underscore IP equal and the IP address of this machine. In my case, I can also retrieve it from hostname dash I. And in fact, if I type hostname dash capital I, I get the IP address. Now, in order to check that our laptop is actually connected to the 
ROS master running on the Raspberry Pi. Let's just type ROS topic list. And as you see, here are all the topics that are active on the Raspberry Pi. Finally, we can launch the Tiliop Twist keyboard node for controlling the keyboard. Tiliop underscore twist underscore keyboard should be a package that comes pre-installed with a ROS Kinetic. If you don't have it, you just install it, follow the link in the description below. Okay, that was fun. So in order to make things even easier on your Robocar, let's create a launch file so we can launch the two nodes together. Let's create a launch folder in our donkey LLC package. And here we create a keyboard underscore demo dot launch file. We put the standard launch tags. And here you want to include the launch file of the I2C PWM board. In order to do that, we got to find the I2C PWM package. And ROS has a very convenient way of finding packages. You just type dollar and then in parentheses find and then the name of the package you're looking for. And as for the donkey car control node, we create another node tag and then we write package equal the donkey LLC, the name of the package, and then the name, the name of the node. And then as type, we write the low level control.py, that is our script. And then we save it and run it. All right, enough for the indoor testing. Let's move this beast outdoor. For the outdoor test, let's connect to the Ubiquiti robot access point created by the Raspberry Pi. Then on one terminal connected with the Raspberry Pi through SSH, we launch the donkey LLC launch file. And on a local terminal, we launch the keyboard node. And now let's the fun begin. Now that is what I call fun. That was a real life example. We set up an environment, we install a package, we create our low level control node, and we control everything through another computer. That was really an achievement. Now, if you guys have any other package that we wanna try and run on the Robocar, just write it in the comments below. For example, we're gonna be trying and follow a line or recognize a signal or an Uruka marker. If you guys have already developed some package, you wanna give it a run in this tutorial series, write it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.